Hello, phlebotomist. Khalil here, and we'll be going over the five types of PLEA certificates that you can get for your phlebotomy business. This will be a five part video, so be sure to subscribe, follow my page, and learn more about starting your own mobile phlebotomy business. And by the end of this video, you should learn what a certificate of accreditation is. So let's get started. Hello, phlebotomists. I am so happy you guys are here. So let's talk about the certificate of accreditation and what it is and how it can actually help your mobile phlebotomy business. So what this does is it allows a facility to conduct moderate or high complexity testing. Okay, that's so important. But what is moderate or high complexity testing? Like what, what is that language? So let's jump into it. So moderate complexity testing deals with more of the hematology and chemistry testing the gram staining of things as well, which is more of a, how can I put it? Uh, it it's a way that they classify bacterial species in two large groups, so gram positive and gram negative. So that was another one. And also microscopic urinalysis. So um, this urine cup over here. <laughs> yeah, so they look at that underneath the microscope. So yes, those are moderate complexity. High complexity tests usually are like pap smear analysis, blood typing and cross matching, and cytology testing. This certificate is issued to a laboratory after a survey has been conducted and the facility is found to be in compliance with all condition level CLIA requirements and accrediting organization standards. Surveys for certificate of accreditation laboratories are conducted by inspectors from the accreditation organization. The director of a facility with a certificate of accreditation may be qualified to oversee non-wave testing. When submitting an application for an accreditation certificate or when changing the laboratory director, the facility must also submit documentation of the director's qualification. Also, during the initial application process, the facility must select a specific accreditation organization, AO, on the CLIA application and provide evidence of the enrollment with the organization. In addition to moderate and high complexity testing, a facility that is issued a certificate of accreditation can also perform PPM and wave testing. Links for the CLIA application and accreditation organization will be listed below. Also, be sure to follow Easy Stick Mobile for more tips on starting your mobile phlebotomy business. And if you're ready to begin, DM the word coach to get started today. Talk to you guys soon.